Three, two, one, ignition. And liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V, carrying two American heroes. It was 5th of June 2024. Two NASA astronauts blasted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida aboard Boeing Starliner spacecraft. They were headed for the International Space Station. What was supposed to be a routine one-week mission turned into something far more complex. As of today, NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmore are still stranded aboard the ISS. Two astronauts stuck at the International Space Station. Sonny Williams in blue and Butch Wilmore in red have been stuck on the ISS. Two astronauts who've been stuck in space since June will have to wait even longer to get home. So what went wrong? And why are they still stuck in space? Let's dive in. US President Donald Trump recently tasked billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk's SpaceX to bring back the stranded astronauts from the ISS. Trump criticized the Biden administration for what he said virtually abandoning the two astronauts in space. Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmore were on a critical test mission to see how Boeing Starliner spacecraft would perform in space. But shortly after launch, things took an unexpected turn. The spacecraft ran into two major problems a malfunctioning set of thrusters and helium leaks in its propulsion system. These issues prevented the Starliner from completing its mission, forcing the astronauts to remain on the ISS while engineers scrambled to fix the problems back on Earth. Despite experiencing technical issues during its mission, the spacecraft made its return voyage to Earth, making it a valuable asset for further analysis. Once the Starliner successfully docked with the ISS, Williams and Wilmore began overseeing tests of the spacecraft's systems. The first signs of trouble emerged when five of the Starliner's reaction control system thrusters malfunctioned as it was approaching the ISS. These thrusters are essential for adjusting the spacecraft's position in orbit, which made the malfunction even more critical. Additionally, helium leaks were found in the propulsion system, further complicating the situation. By 24th August 2024, the decision was made. Starliner was too risky for the return journey. Williams and Wilmore are still stuck in space, undeterred by setbacks. The retired Navy captains continue working aboard the ISS. Recently, Williams shared her seven-month space experience with students in a virtual Q&A. She said, I've been up here long enough. Right now, I've been trying to remember what it's like to walk. I haven't walked, I haven't sat down, I haven't laid down. You don't have to. You can just close your eyes and float where you are right here. Given the technical issues with Starliner, NASA turned to SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft for a safe return mission. Just after President Trump's statement urging Elon Musk's SpaceX to step in, NASA confirmed it was working with SpaceX to bring the astronauts home safely. Recently, NASA announced that SpaceX will manage the return of the astronauts as part of their Crew-9 mission. The Crew-10 launch has been moved up to 12th of March, pending final safety checks. Initially set for late March, the mission will now use SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft Endurance. The decision to swap capsules allows NASA to speed up the timeline and ensure a quicker turnaround. Upon Crew-10's arrival at the ISS, a brief handover will occur before Crew-9 departs. Williams, Wilmore and their Crew-9 colleagues, NASA astronaut Nick Haig and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbunov will then return to Earth. This incident highlights the unpredictable nature of space exploration and the risks involved. The current situation reminds us that even the most carefully planned missions can be thrown off track. NASA's Apollo 13 mission and the Columbia disaster are classic examples. So the question remains, will Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmore return home soon? Stay tuned as we continue to monitor the developments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Business Standard for more updates on the world of aerospace. Thanks for watching.